December 26, uh, Simon and myself, uh, my partner, we walked um, on a beach and it was a beautiful sunny day. We were about to leave to another location, um, but we never left um, because uh, a tsunami wave came and we were, we were outside of a bungalow in a split of seconds, um, with the glass cutting us. Um, it's the last time I saw Simon as well and then uh, um, I was able to hold on to uh, a roof of another bungalow because I was trapped and uh, um, and my body was uh, was crushed my pelvis was crushed um, after a while um, another wave came uh, um, that and that one brought me under the under the water under the layer of debris and uh, I tried to fight in a fight to try to go and be able to catch your breath. And after a while um, of trying, I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't get through the debris. And that's uh, when I said to myself, if it's the moment now uh, that I go, I go, that I have to go, I, I, I accept. I accepted the, 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 that if I have to go, I have to go. And in that very moment, I felt um, a pot, particles of my body merging with particles of the water and it being very, very light. And in the very same moment, I suddenly could breathe. I was above the water. The hardest thing was um, during that, that time was hearing children screaming for help. And uh, I couldn't go and help them because there was debris all around me, all around the pantry, and I couldn't swim out and help them. And after half an hour, I couldn't hear them anymore, um, and that that meant that they couldn't hold on. So that the whole experience was very, very powerful um, on many levels and very hard, but it also gave me a lot of appreciation of, of gift, for gift of life um, after being blessed and surviving the tsunami. Um, I established a Happy Hearts Fund, which is a charity focusing on rebuilding safe, resilient schools for children impacted by natural disasters. The children and communities are forgotten after first responders leave, and they can be forgotten for four or six years they are waiting for their safe schools. Um, and that's what we focus on with Happy Hearts, when we focus on rebuilding safe, resilient schools for children um, after natural disasters. We started in Thailand, and now we are in nine countries. Um, at the beginning, we had the goal to build one school. Um, then we've built a few more. And this year, the 10th anniversary, we wanted to commemorate with rebuilding of 100 schools. And actually, we exceeded our expectations and have built 107 schools in nine countries, helping over 50,000 children and 500,000 community members.